morning. We're back a little bit before 6.30. We're going to back out of the shed. We're going to put this drill in the ground behind us. And we're going to try to knock out 60 acres uh, before this first chance of rain. There's a chance of rain at 9 o'clock. So we should be able to do that. If we are not raining yet, there's another 35 acres behind us. We will do. Better than 100 acres right here. We're going to try to, that, that's my goal before it rains. Hopefully, we still have good weather and we can reassess the goals for the day. I would really like to knock out about 250, 300 acres today. Now that is all across the empire and we are going to be field hopping quite a bit, but uh, if we run till midnight or so, I think it's very doable. There's dad's corn planter. He said he has roughly two more, three more tanks of 28 to put on and he's going to plant corn today. Like I mentioned last night, the corn fields that dad has left are very wet. so. Uh, they're probably okay, but they were definitely not plantable yesterday, be my guess. Uh, just judging by the ground that I was in and how wet it was, and the type of soil that he has to plant in yet, very wet ground. Sunday, July 22nd, Yeah, maybe Dad said, and heck with it, going planting first thing. I don't know. Must look at the weather. Well, this is not how... I wanted the day to go. That sucks, but that's the first deer that we've hit in about 10 years. So I guess we've had a good streak. Never has good timing when it happens, but we're gonna pull up here and take a front duel off. Uh, front duels are nice, but we can run without them, so we're gonna run without them. Uh, hopefully I can get up there before we run out of air. Probably shouldn't have took that last piece out until we got up there, but we did. Always something. Yeah, we're gonna peel this duel off, we're gonna pull these lugs off, and. I guess we'll go back to it. We might need to run up on a board. I thought we'd be able to hit this. There's a drop off right here. I don't know if it shows on camera. Most of the weight's on that inside tire, but I don't think it's going to be enough to get that thing off there. So we didn't have the size that these are. They take a deep well. We didn't have one, so we're leaving this plate on there. Looks like crap. Doesn't need to be there, but we're not going for looks, we're going for getting some stuff done. We need to put a little bit of air in this tire because it's designed to have two tires holding it up, not just one. Right now you can see a lot of weight on it. Let's look at the IFS system on a fit tractor. Well, that was a mild well, 30 minute delay, 20 minute delay, but we're back up and going. It's only 7.38. Hopefully the rest of the day goes smoother. And we will get that tire fixed once it rains. Uh, right now, everyone's going to be able to get some stuff done, so it's low on the priority list. Pole dancing. Yep, we got strippers and pole dancers here at the Brown Farms. Sometimes the strippers do the pole dancing. Right now it's the seed planter, so. I know, they're, they're, they're kind of corny or beanie jokes, whatever you want to think. But uh, it keeps us entertained. We're like, we're like grown kids. So 
everybody else's method on poles. I get as close to them as possible and then I plant across them. I try to make as little gap as possible because I figure even if we don't harvest those beans, there's just going to be weeds growing there if I don't at least maybe make some shade, keep some of the weed pressure down. So I get pretty close to them. Spend way more time planting that. Way more time than I should planting that, but that's how I do it. So this field is probably, it's, it's, it's very questionable. Like my friends up north, they would definitely send it, but this is probably the wettest field I've planted this year. Now this was worked last year. The fields that I was planting yesterday were worked this year, so that's definitely part of it. Um, working the ground definitely will heat it up and dry it out a little faster, but I thought this ground was drier than this. It looked drier than this yesterday, but um, it's, it's a little tacky. Now with the rain and the whatnot in the forecast, we're just going to keep on keeping on. But the next field we go to will probably be one we worked this year. I was going to go over to a no-till field across the across the driveway here. It's got some terminated rye in it, but we'll probably save that until it dries out a little bit. bit of rye here where I was calibrating the floater last winter when we spread the spread the rye. Uh, Dad has not sprayed this half of the field yet from where that tin was in the field. So we're just going to plant through this stuff green see what happens. A lot more moisture. It's holding a little bit of moisture and uh, it's already plenty wet. There's part of the roof that was out in the field. This whole area was covered in that tin. Hopefully we don't get another flat tire out here because I'm sure there's a lot of nails. Think that would do any damage? I can have this back. Yep. First big windstorm. I bet that whole roof lands right here. Now there were lots of colorful suggestions when I asked, or when I said I wasn't sure what the protocol was when your neighbor's roof blows in your field and they don't move it. But try to be a good neighbor. We do, uh, you know, have ground right beside each other. And one day I would like to buy their ground. So try to be a good neighbor, but this is getting very frustrating. I did offer to buy that building just so I could tear it down basically, or at least get the roof away from the field and uh, I don't know they seem to think it was still pretty valuable all right we are 67 acres in it's 10 30 we're moving to the next field not a bad way to start the morning. Not bad. For 40 foot planter, this is, this is, we're, we're doing pretty well. Especially when you take into account a flat tire. Made an executive decision. We're planting through the terminated ride. I think it's about the same amount of moisture. This dry has been dead for a while, so it's not really holding much moisture in here. This poor tractor's just getting so spotted up. Sprinkling again. So we are just about out of seed. Now uh, we're almost 100 acres into the day at just noon so gonna need some seed kale's gonna stop pick me up go get the seed tender stage she's getting ready to leave so we're just basically gonna stage it at the next field we're going to she'll bring me back to the planter gotta you gotta orchestrate your orchestrate i think i might have, might have made up a word there you gotta line up how you're getting your seed tender when you're working solo like when people are leaving 
Oh, I need a ride. See? Sweet. How you do it? Hopefully she brings lunch home. So I did ask on Instagram if I should plant into this rye or till it in with the accelerator. I planned all along on planting straight into it. It had been a little while since we had terminated. It's pretty dead. Didn't have a lot of worries. But I did think that if we would have vertical tilled it, uh, we might have had a mat on the ground that would have been hard to uh, get in the ground or get through. So hopefully this comes up okay. The only thing that worries me now is slugs. Thanks for shoving me around. Yeah. Kids be good. Dax, okay. happy birthday, bub. Thanks. How old are you today? Seven. Seven years oh. old. He's going to start getting gray hair soon. Yep. <laughs> Ready to start paying taxes? <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Yeah, I think seven years ago we were done planting right now, too. Not the case today. Time to fill up. Done that pretty good. We only had four acres worth of seed left. Now we are here at the previous year's 300 bushel field. Probably should have planned this a lot sooner. There's probably a lot of leftover nutrients on this ground. Um, but just didn't work out that way this year. Shoot, hit the button. Whoops. We're pretty full. I got her packed in there, but that's all that variety. And I wanted it empty. So the tender is empty. I actually just ran about a thousand pounds of beans on the ground just to get it empty. Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking, I wouldn't do that. Well, we are done over here by the office, but my coffee cup's empty and it's not supposed to rain for about another five or six hours. Seems like a great opportunity to take a dump and get some more coffee. I mean let the dogs out, silly me. Dumped her off. Now we can plant some more. Gotta make a move. We have, I'd like to do at least three more fields before it rains. That'll pretty much polish off this fill up on seed. That'll put us around 250 for the day, 250 acres. Yeah, I'm driving through the grass. Whoops. But looking at the radar and the weather forecast, we'll probably be hustling to do anything after those three fields. We'll probably do good to get those three fields. Hopefully we can get them. If not, oh well. Still made quite a bit of progress today, I guess. So we have a very wet spot right here, and the Avatar one has what is called water hole mode. So we are going to click that raise the avatar out of the ground and keep sprinkling some seeds. So right now we're just throwing seed on the ground. We're going to drive through this water, this, well, this wet spot. I guess maybe we'll at least get something to grow. It is very soft right there. I don't think we're in any danger of getting stuck, but we definitely weren't going to plant that. Now we can drop everything back on the ground because we are we're out of the wet spot. We're also in the headlands. Pretty neat feature. Some of those beans will grow. Like corn would not grow if you did that, but beans, they will grow on top of the ground with enough moisture. It's in a wet spot. There's obviously enough moisture and there's rain on the way. So I guess that's better than nothing. Here's a good example of soil structure. This ground has not been tilled where we're sitting right now, but it's, it's closer to the wet spot. Basically this water that ditch right there needs cleaned out. That's why this water's here. Where BJ tilled, we sunk down pretty deep. Um, you know, the probably five, six inches. Right here, this ground hasn't been tilled. There's enough soil structure there still. We haven't sunk down at all. Kind of surprising, but I assume that's why we haven't sunk. Check another 20 off the box. Moving on. So this farm that we're going to is, it's up a holler. It's a kind of a pretty tight, windy road, so BJ is going ahead of me. The John Deere broke down today, so he is tractorless at the moment. Went and got me some seed from a seed dealer, 
and now he's escorting me over this here field. So yep, both our John Deere tractors, oddly enough, are broke this week. The 8400, uh, it laid a golden egg yesterday. I think the uh, uh, the alternator's out of it or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. BJ was running it off enough too when it happened. So I have not seen or checked into it yet. So this is the farm that AEP had, uh, well it's one of the farms that AEP had a new line go through, so lots of gravel was dumped on this farm and well, then they took it. So the, this part of it has new gravel at least, but yeah, it's still a pretty tight bridge. Don't fall, don't fall. Okay, we made it. We'll tight back there. Here we go, we got 35 acres right here. Dad planted the corn a few weeks ago, or probably a week and a half ago. But I had yet to make it over here for the beans, so good to knock these out. It should take about ooh, an hour and a half. Good news, BJ is up and going. Ended up not being anything wrong with the tractor. It was actually something wrong with the accelerator, a pressure switch in it was not working. So he is up and going. Bad news though, I had an error code that locked out one of my hydraulic remotes. Uh, and I just unlocked it, but now none of my go and in functions work. Uh, my fan's not staying right where I want it anymore. Uh, I don't know. Definitely have something going on. It's not prohibiting me from running, but I did notice we have a slight hydraulic leak, so I just went ahead and called it in. Uh, this tractor is under warranty, so once we either get uh, get stopped due to whatever's going on with this thing, or it rains, uh, I guess they'll come out and take a look at it. So we are steering around the ends of our fields here. We're kind of committed at this point. There's a rain cloud right over there, and this would be the most inopportune time for it to rain. Uh, once I get the end started on a field, I definitely don't like to get rained out. There's a chance that those end rows can start popping up before we get back here. But, uh, gotta risk it for the biscuit. That cloud though, it's looking rough. There's been a chance of rain literally all day, so uh, we're 14 hours into planting today. Uh, we've been hopping around patch to patch. We're right around 190 acres in. So if we get rained out, we get rained out. I can't really complain too much for a day that I thought was going to be over at noon. Not bad. But I do hope it holds off for about another 10 acres. If you can see through my rain speckled, dirty, dusty windows, Dad's over there looking at corn. He's going to escort me back out of this goat path once we get done. I don't know if he got a plant much to add. I know he planted 40, 50 acres, but BJ was happening to work the last that he was going to plant. It's the tile fields and uh, it'll probably take a lot of uh, a lot of effort on BJ's part to get those plantable. All right, we are done. Let's go get her folded up and head to the next one. Found the next victim. So we got 37 acres right here we're gonna plant. Should have enough seed to do that and we'll see what time it is, how tired I am. It is just at nine o'clock. It's probably take an hour and 45 minutes maybe two hours. It's a small field, so not super efficient, but it is fairly square. Don't see any neighbors to play the light game with, so we'll just go ahead and flip those on early. So a buddy of mine was driving by, said he had some extra pizza, asked if I wanted some. Thank you, Cannon. Absolutely, I'll eat some pizza. Heck yeah. All right, folks, we are calling it quits for the night. It is just about midnight. Uh, we are 18 hours into today. Um, I'm in a field. I'm not quite out of seat yet. Very close to being out of fuel, but there's a test plot in this field for a seat company, and to be honest with you, I don't know where it is. I've hit the one... I've planned right up to the one side of it. I don't know where it ends, so um, I'm kind of using that as an excuse to go to sleep now. We're going to fold up. Uh, we'll come back here first thing in the morning. It does look like the chances of rain are dissipating, so we might get a plant tomorrow morning, which would be great. 